10 Cool Saltwater Crocodile Facts Australians sometimes call these animals salties. But don't let the cute name fool you. One of these monsters could really ruin your day in a snap. Today, we learn what makes saltwater crocodiles such feared predators. My name is Chris, and welcome to Animal Science TV. Fact 10, floaters. Saltwater crocodiles follow the ocean currents to cover distances of over 500 miles. When they emigrate like this, they are called floaters because they float most of the way to save energy. Floating is risky because the animal is at the whim of the currents for weeks, but these exiles are usually the individuals who lost territory disputes, could not court a mate, or find food. Saltwater crocodiles have special salt glands on their tongues, which allow them to survive in the open ocean. If their blood gets too salty, they can just excrete a thick, tear-like mucus. Salties rarely hunt in the open ocean, but have been spotted on coral reefs. Usually, when you see a saltwater crocodile swimming parallel to the coast, it is searching for a mate or a better territory. It's looking for a new river to swim up. Crocodiles are territorial, aggressive, and unpredictable, especially when defending their eggs. They might kill you not out of hunger, but because you are disturbing them. 9. Temperature Controlled Babies Females lay up to 90 eggs, which are incubated by the mother. Amazingly, the sex of the babies is determined by temperature. Colder temperatures result in mostly females, while warm eggs hatch into males. A medium temperature incubation results in closer to an even one-to-one -one mixed ratio of the sexes. Crocodiles are good mothers. Mom transports newborn hatchlings to the water's edge, carefully, in her mouth. There, she protects her babies as they learn to swim and defend themselves. Sadly, mom does not help them hunt and usually only one or two of the 90 hatchlings actually make it to adulthood. 8. A Wide Territory Saltwater crocs live in India, Sri Lanka, Southeast Asia, Australia, and several Pacific Islands. They spend most of their time hunting in murky estuaries and mangroves with a brackish salinity. Although their name wouldn't suggest it, these monsters can also live quite far inland in freshwater, too. It scares me how wide their territory is. They could be anywhere. 7. Agile Giants Saltwater crocodiles are the largest reptiles living on Earth today. The world record is held by a male captured in the Philippines named Lolong. He was measured at 20 feet 3 inches long and weighed 2,370 pounds. Although huge, these reptiles are very agile in the water. They can fold their limbs against their body into a streamlined shape and use their tail as a powerful fin to swim up to 18 miles per hour. Michael Phelps? He can only swim 6 miles per hour. Did you know? Identifying a crocodile versus an alligator is simple. Crocodiles are significantly more dangerous than alligators, so it's good to know what you're dealing with. Crocodiles have V-shaped snouts, while alligators have U-shaped snouts. You can see a crocodile's interlocking lower teeth when its mouth is closed, but when an alligator's mouth is closed, you can only see its top teeth. 6. A Crushing Bite 
The saltwater crocodile has the second strongest bite force ever recorded at 3,700 pounds per square inch. This hydraulic car crusher is wimpier at only 2,000 psi. For comparison, the saltwater crocodile's bite is 26 times more powerful than the average human's bite. The only animal that has been measured with a stronger bite is the Nile crocodile at 5,000 psi. You may have noticed you cannot see any crocodile's tongue. It is tiny and used mostly to seal the throat shut when underwater. Luckily, it cannot be accidentally bitten. 5. Death Rolls Salties have 68 teeth, which can be replaced 50 times in their lifespan. Crocs do not chew. Instead, they use their blunt teeth to clamp down on their prey. They then drag the prey to the bottom of the water and begin violently rolling, like a log roll. The goal is to drown the prey and, at the same time, rip off its limbs to eat in bite-sized chunks. Thankfully, saltwater crocodiles are only estimated to attack 30 people per year. But astonishingly, about half of these attacks are fatal. Combined, all species of crocodiles kill about 1,000 people per year. Compare 1,000 to sharks who kill less than 10 people per year. Four. Digesting bones. Because saltwater crocodiles eat their prey whole, they need very powerful stomach acid to dissolve hooves, bones, and shells. Besides humans, they like to eat fish, birds, sharks, turtles, crustaceans, and even large mammals like pigs and water buffaloes. Crocodiles can not eat underwater. They prefer to drag their dismembered prey onto dry land or shallow water to finally swallow it. This avoids taking in too much water. 3. Sneaky Ambush Predators Crocodiles are very stealthy. Their eyes, nostrils, and ears are all on top of their head. So, they can sense their surroundings above water while only having a small part of their camouflaged head above the surface. This allows the crocodile to silently sneak up on an animal drinking from the water's edge and surprisingly lunge forward. Another tactic salties use is to hold their breath underwater and wait for prey like turtles or fish to move within striking range. They can lower their heart rate to 3 beats per minute, saving energy and allowing them to hold their breath for an hour if stationary. While hiding on the bottom, a saltwater crocodile's skin can sense teeny changes in the water pressure around them. With thousands of these sensors, they know when prey is nearby, even in the murky darkness below. These organs are called Dermal Pressure Receptors. Did you know? Crocodiles communicate with chirps, growls, hisses, and by blowing bubbles. They can communicate over 20 messages, including distress calls, threats, and courtship bellows. 2. Surviving the Meteor Cold-blooded crocodilians were around when the dinosaurs went extinct some 65 million years ago. Scientists think they were able to withstand the blacking out of the sun and global cooling events because of their low metabolism. Crocodiles can even enter a hibernation-like state called brumation and survive up to three years without food. Dinosaurs are thought to have been warm-blooded like their ancestors, the birds, so they would not be able to survive long without abundant calories to maintain their hot body temperatures. 
A big thanks to our new Patreon, Got Mountains. They have a lovely green-cheeked conure. And one, salties scare people. Humans are more dangerous to saltwater crocodiles than giant asteroid impacts are. They are hunted for their leathery skin, meat, and for the sake of public swimming safety. Saltwater crocodiles are scary, and around the world, they are frequently killed out of fear alone. In Australia, this species population was pushed down to just 3,000 individuals in the 1970s. Today, they are protected in Australia, and the species has recovered to over 150,000 individuals. When I visited Australia, I was nervous to swim in certain areas too, so I understand why some people might be tempted to kill them for safety reasons. But saltwater crocodiles are apex predators, and they are needed to balance some brackish ecosystems. Improving the health of ecosystems benefits humans by improving food security as we move into the future. Watch more cool animal fact videos in my playlist. I also do one-on-one -on -one science education videos. If you're a subscriber, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching Animal Science TV.